Hello, my name is Kevin Lemaire, and today I'm going to be discussing weak and strong website designs that I had found. Now, to find the first one, I went to purdy.com and found a list of completely unresponsive websites. And this one was my favorite one, lingscars.com. Now, as you can see immediately, this is a very loud, loud website. There's really no discernible um, hierarchy, visual hierarchy. Your eyes kind of go everywhere, and as you scroll down the site, it does not get much better. But uh, even worse, if you continue to scroll, you will see down here there is just about half of the website is nothing but white space due to this sidebar over here that is very poorly designed as it uh, just serves to extend the page without really adding um, any function to it whatsoever. You can't really tell where you are supposed to go immediately when you look at this website. If someone was to come here and to skim through, it's just a nightmare. So as we try to check its responsiveness, we'll go ahead and squeeze it down and as we can see it is not responsive in the slightest. This page is serves to serves a, a shining example of a unresponsive website and um, just the loudness. Now, the site says the UK's craziest car leasing website. The design use seems to be more tailored towards an Asian market as Asian markets um, are usually more responsive to um, very loud advertising. Uh, very noisy. However, even with the noisy advertising, there's generally a hierarchy, and there only seems to be hierarchy when you really look for it, like down here in these individual ones. But if you're coming to skim, if you're coming to just look for a, a particular item or a particular product, you are not going to get it within the first, you know, three to five seconds. You are going to get confused. You're going to look around, and you're going to start trying to figure out how you can search before you actually just leave the site altogether. So there is no no responsiveness whatsoever to this website. Very little discernible visual hierarchy as you view the site. And it's very loud and overstimulating in terms of the color and movement. Now as we move forward, there is a better example of, of a website. This website for the um, past artist Little Peep who passed away as we could see it says the estate of Gustav and um, as we go down this is a very very simple very streamlined website with immediately there's a there's a visual hierarchy um, illustrated right here each each individual item is responsive the whole site itself is extremely responsive as we can see even down to one single row which you know, very obviously looking at that, you can see that mobile was in mind when they were designing this website. As as the saying goes, mobile first, and they were very much about mobile first when they designed this website. It is very pleasing. There's a good usage of white space. It's not too too separated or um, you know too much space in between, but there's enough space to where it lets each each individual item have its own identity without getting you know mixed in with the bunch and then there's just just a nice uh, a nice photo for the opening so this is a very good example of responsive website making making a website with mobile apps in mind and trying to make it visually ap appealing so that the customer, when they when the customer initially comes to this site, even if they come on accident, when they come here on accident, they are not going to get confused. They're going to come here. They're going to say, "Oh, look at all these T-shirts and merchandise," and it's very easy to see what's going on in this site. The other thing that I like about this site, um, in terms of responsiveness, is when when you refresh the site, let's say I go down here, a lot of times when I go to a site, if something happens, something gets stuck and I have to refresh it, the page will jump right back to the top of the page. On this page, 
when you refresh the page, it brings you right back to to where you where you left off at, which is great. Because let's say you're halfway down the page, you're reading something here, something happens, you got to refresh, and boom, it just takes you all the way back up to the top, and this is how far you got to go to get back down. So I thought that was really cool. It's a really cool addition to the responsiveness of the site. And all these things are important when you're appealing to a customer. Um, you want a site that's visually appealing immediately, right away, as soon as you get there. And then you don't want to be confused as to what's going on and what you're looking for when you're going down the site. So this site is, is great. And I would say personally, this is a great example of how if anyone wants to build their own basic website to have this kind of design in mind. Very streamlined, very, very simple. So, again, my name is Kevin Lemaire, and this has been my presentation on weak and strong website designs. Thank you very much for your time, and have a good day.